We're going to look at how to remove wrinkles in Photoshop. A very easy to do technique and uh, it does require a little practice but you should have a good grasp on how to do it once we're done. First thing we're going to start with an image um, and with this type of work um, it's pretty precise so let's uh, switch to the uh, zoom in tool and I want to get rid of some of the crow's feet around the eyes here. We're just going to drag a box around the area we want to focus on. Not too close because we want to be able to see the area around it. Um, there's a variety of tools in Photoshop that can be used to remove wrinkles. Uh, one that I like to use the most is the stamp tool. Um, there's also the healing brush tool and some other aspects as well, which are very similar to the, to the stamp tool. Um, for now, let's go with stamp tool and um, first we've got to adjust our, br adjust our brush size and we're going to do that up here. Bring it down to something more in line with the size of the wrinkle and just a little overlapping. That's about right. And um, you see that error that comes up. I just tried to use it and it lets you know that to use this tool, you actually have to use Alt-Click to define a source point. What that means is, let's say I want to give somebody uh, an earring up here. Um, this is probably a clearer example. If I, with the stamp tool, I hold down the Alt key to sample the earring. And now I'm just going to draw it up there too. So what we're getting, it's not very realistic, but um, we're getting a real-time copy and paste with the stamp tool. And the effect with um, when working on wrinkles is that we're going to be sampling an area very close to the wrinkle just like I just did there and drawing over the wrinkle. So you're always you're, you're continually defining new source points by alt clicking and then your second click defines the, um, the copy point. So just by alt clicking and then the second click is your target area. Um, you can really quite quickly uh, remove blemishes from the skin. Um, it's great on pimples, freckles, it's anything like that. Um, so this is just using the stamp tool and by default I let it go to 100% opacity. Uh, sometimes you don't want such a dramatic effect, you want to blend it a little bit better. Um, so you bring the opacity down, but um, with this technique you can really help out with uh, reducing wrinkles. Another option is um, using the blur tool once you've removed some of the major stuff with the smudge tool, um, with the stamp tool. Um, using the blur tool you can kind of blend skin tones together in a really kind of airbrushed uh, way. Um, sometimes people just go right to the blur tool, maybe not 50%, maybe more like 25 and that can really smooth out skin very quickly. And that is how you smooth out wrinkles.